Boom, what's up everybody? My name is Kim Scott Will and today we'll be taking a look at how we can replicate this cartoon effect with Affinity Photo. I'm gonna try and do it really quickly. It's not too complicated, it's just a few steps. And um, if you like this, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and leave your comments down below. You can also give me a thumbs up if, uh, if you feel for it. I would highly appreciate it. And um, we're just gonna get to it pretty much. I'm gonna try and do it, as I said, in under 10 minutes. And uh, here we go. So this is the picture we're gonna replicate these ones. I just made a couple of tests. So this is it, I got it off of stock. So if you go to stock, type in man, it's gonna come up there and you can follow along if you want to. Cool, so I'm gonna get him up. I'm gonna hide these layers. I'm gonna go back here. So the first thing we need to do is duplicate command control J. I'm gonna actually turn on this one and just keep it there. So command control J, we have duplicated it. The first thing we're gonna do now is we're gonna take our shadows and highlights here, adjustments. So we're gonna push the shadows almost a lot up here because if you're blowing up the, the shirt here, I'm gonna take the highlights down just a little bit. About 37%, that looks pretty good. Cool. So now we should merge these two down. So you can just hit that merge button and it should go down there. Perfect. Now we're gonna add in a high pass filter so we're gonna go a filter sharpen high pass and you just want to make it so you can see outline the more you do this the harder the edges will be i'm gonna keep it right around 10 11 percent here hit apply i'm gonna go down here and we're gonna find linear light so you can see the difference now already we are just sharpen up the whole image. So now I'm going to duplicate this layer one more time here. And now I'm going to group these two. So hold on shift and uh, click the top one and command control J to group it. Perfect. We're going to stay on this group. We're going to go back up to filters. We're going to go sharpen, unsharp mask. And yours is going to start here if you haven't used it before. So I'm gonna set the radius here up to about one point something pixel, 1.5 works. The factor we can introduce, you can see what's happening here. So the multiplier or factor. Then we have the threshold. And I'm gonna keep the threshold around 10, 11% as well. And we can see the difference in the photo, what it does. So it already starts to look sort of cartoonish. I'm gonna increase this up to about 2.4. That looks pretty good. Hit apply. Cool, so we have done most of the, the major stuff. We could do, go up here to filters again and then add detect edges as well, but we're not gonna do it, so command control C. Now we have this layer here we're going to start coloring it so i can hide this one now we don't need it but i like keeping it there for reference so make sure you're on this layer add up a new layer we're going to go over here to our selection brush tool and we're going to take out the shirt first and then it's just if you're on this layer it will be easier to just click and you're going to have to do a better job masking than what i'm doing now so just take take your time. The more masking you do, the better it's gonna look. And then just take the brush size down a little bit, brush up there, and then hold on all and click to get it back in to where you want it. And we're gonna zoom in a little bit here. Because even though I'm uh, going fast, I don't wanna make it too too bad the masking here. So make sure you can see here we have some color bleeds. Uh, under the shirt here and there so that will show up you would have to fix that now if you uh, if you don't want it in the final picture or uh, rendering i'm not going to worry about it because we're just getting that cartoon effect so there we go hold on alt again go all the way up to the shirt there we go i'm going to take off those Okay, that looks good enough right now since I'm trying to do this under 10 minutes. 
Go back up to your layer we just made, put it in uh, overlay mode. And we can find here as um, a little dark yellowish color maybe. Hit B for your brush tool. Open close bracket to increase. Make sure you're painting with pretty good flow and opacity, hardness, doesn't really matter. And now you're just gonna paint over the shirt here. And yellow wasn't the best color, but the good thing is we can go in and change it after with a HSL layer. We just need to make sure we're painting all over it. Okay. So that's pretty good. I'm gonna command control D to deselect. I'm gonna go back down here. Now we're gonna take the jacket. So we're gonna go the quick selection tool here, the and then make it a little bit bigger. And then I'm gonna do the jacket. So there we go. Jacket there. We went a little bit too far here on the shirt. I'm gonna come up and fix that. Try at least. Just do it really quickly. And then I'm gonna increase the brush size again. We're gonna zoom in just a little bit. Hold down space bar to move around. I'm gonna just hold on, try this again. There we go. Cool, zoom way out, control zero. I'm gonna open close bracket, make that brush bigger. We're gonna now add in this side as well. And you can see it took that one really good, except for down here. So just zoom back in a little bit. And the, uh, of course, the better you do this, the better the outcome will look or will be. So we're just gonna push this in here. You can see here, my masking on the shirt wasn't the best. We're just gonna go keep this in like this. And add in a little bit back there, a little bit back there. Again, this isn't a masking tutorial. This is how we get that cartoonish effect. So command control zero to zoom all the way out. We're gonna put another layer on top of there and we're gonna go soft light here. Uh, and then we're gonna hit B on our brush tool. I'm gonna choose a greenish, no, let's choose a pinkish, purplish color like this, pretty bright color. And you can see here now, we can paint over just the jacket. And I got help from my little buddies, that's Fendris and Anubis. Hey Gutta, lay down. So we're just gonna paint it in here. And you can see now it really starts looking like like a cartoonish uh, drawing. Cool. So we got that done. Command Control uh, D to deselect. So you can name this shirt. That way we know. Name this uh, jacket. Jacket. Cool. Now we gotta do the face. So add another layer. Go back here. We're gonna go back over to our quick selection tool. I'm just going to add in everything, make sure we get everything of the face. We can zoom in a little bit. Again, just making sure that we're, we're uh, getting everything we need here. I actually did a pretty decent job. Okay, I'm going to just take the ear in on this one as well. Cool. We can zoom back out again, hit B. We're going to just go over here so we can find sort of a uh, nice cartoon looking skin tone like that. We're going to go back up here. We're going to go soft light. And then we're just going to paint in over here. Don't go over his eyes or eyeballs. Um, you can see this looks horrible right now, but we can change this. So we're just going to go here and we're going to go then paint in the rest here. Just make sure you don't go over the eyeballs because that will look weird. It sort of looks like that guy from uh, that sick guy from that movie, whatever that was. <laughs> I forgot. Yeah, uh, Bruce Willis in it, I believe. And some big green guy, yellow dude. Forget about it. I can't remember the name. But for a cartoon, this doesn't look too bad, so we're just going to call face. That way we can add in a uh, mask here really quickly. 
hit and then just hit these if we get black and white and we're gonna paint with black because I got a little bit too much over his head there there we go I'm gonna just feather this out a little bit more there we are cool so now you remember I said we could change you see I got a bad spot there on the shirt it doesn't matter so I could we can change this after the fact I'm just gonna hit V for my uh, move tool I'm gonna start with the shirt we're gonna go here add in an HSL layer see it jumps up above we're just gonna drag it in here offer it to the text and then we can go and now we could change that shirt color I'll like drag down that saturation a little bit and the uh, lighting on it. You can drag it, pump it up a lot if you want, but we want to be a realistic cartoon. So we're just going to go here. Yeah, we're going to go go over here. Keep it like that. Just so you can see that you can change the colors. We'll go to the jacket. Same thing, HSL. Offer it over to the text here so it gets on the side. And then you can go and you can change that color and get it into whichever color you want. Let's stick with uh, that. Looks pretty good. I'm going to drag it down just a little bit. You can lighten it up there. Or I'm going to stick with this purple. And then again, same thing for the face. Just the HSL. Offer it in here. And then you can go and you can change the color, make them the Hulk or whatever, or that's a pretty good. We're just gonna drag down the saturation just a touch and a little bit of, of uh, I see a little bit too much red, but it looks pretty decent as a cartoon uh, portrait. So that's pretty much it. And I'm gonna bring up these other ones here. I'm just gonna group this guy, group it. And then I'm going to put this one at the bottom and then do it like this. And then we can go resize, put one, put this guy down here, uh, this guy down there. I'm going to just go all the way down, all the way there. So they all look pretty good like uh, cartoons here. And you can see that's the original here i hope you liked this tutorial if you did uh, please hit that subscribe button again hit that notification bell give me a thumbs up it really helps me out and i feel the love and i'll see you all next time